Welcome to EMS Office Hours. This is Jim Hoffman, and this is another episode of the Monday Minutes here. Uh, been a little remiss on getting these out to you guys. I've been really busy working on a new project, something I'm calling the EMS Blueprint. Uh, more on that uh, in the future, but today we're going to keep going with the neurological emergency. This is part two. This is sort of a large section of the EMS Quick Study uh, sessions here. Okay, and of course, I would like to mention why this stuff is important, right? It's not just important because you're passing your test and you're trying to study for an exam. It's also good to refresh your memory so when you're assessing your patients, when you're doing your documentation, interacting with other EMS professionals and other healthcare professionals, you're more versed in this content, okay? And it's also good with your exam prep, of course, because it gives you the key elements that you will often see on your EMS exams, okay? So let's get into today's session. And I remember last week I mentioned um, we were going to talk about Vindicate, which is the types of CNS disorders. And this is sort of that acronym where every letter means something, right? <clears throat> so let's get into it, guys, because I want to really cover this section here um, and, and get this content out to you. And hopefully maybe this little Vindicate will help you recall the different types of CNS disorders when you're doing your exam and when you're doing your patient assessment and patient care. So V is that vascular, right? Kind of obvious, but this uh, is anything that involves circulation problems to the brain and to the spinal cord, okay? Um, we talk about I in Vindicate. These are infections of the brain, the spinal cord, or the meninges, right? We have our meningitis, right? Viral, of course, meningitis is more common what we might see. Um, it's a little milder. We can't really treat it in the field, but just something to know uh, that it's one of the types, right? Bacterial uh, meningitis is a little less common, but it's more severe, and it can be treated with antibiotics, okay? Um, and then we have encephalitis, um, this is an infection of the brain tissue, and usually that's viral in nature, okay? And then we have brain abscesses, and these are localized uh, collections of pus and, and debris inside the brain. Uh, one kind is what you, you might see or have heard of is bacterial endocarditis or a heart valve infection. Okay, um, so this is pretty much the infections that you might see when it comes to CNS type disorders. Then next we're going to talk about is um, N, and that's neoplastic, and those are tumors. And these are tumors, of course, in the brain, and really uh, the brain tumor, when a patient has that, that condition is really responsible for about one out of five new onset seizures that you might see, especially in patients over the age of 21. But so something to keep in mind uh, when you're assessing your patients, right? New seizure patient, they're like 30-something years old or whatever, right? Think about brain tumors. Um, degenerative type uh, disorders, um, these are progressive deteriorations of the central nervous system, things like Alzheimer's disease, MS, um, Parkinson's disease. Then we have our inflammatory, and this is the um, types of inflammation you get, but without infection. Things like rheumatoid arthritis, okay, things like lupus, okay. And then we have our congenital. Now, these are the things that you, you, th you think of when you think of like aneurysms, right? That's the most common sort of congenital cause you're going to see. Uh, in the field, okay, a spontaneous intracerebral inter inter hemorrhage, okay, especially in a younger person. And then we have allergy and autoimmune system, okay, that's A in our Vindicate. And again, this also is, is something like lupus, okay, because um, that's an autoimmune sort of inflammatory condition. Uh, and severe allergic reaction can also cause uh, cerebral hypo uh, perfusion and brain damage. So not as you know uh, uh, mild as you might think when you see allergy and autoimmune, but it's it's a little bigger 
when it comes to that, okay? Um, next, we're going to talk about, we're coming down to the end here, is trauma. Pretty obvious, right? You know, head trauma, of course, that can obviously cause neurological problems, right? You see the, the posturing and things like that. And then finally, and I'll vindicate, is E, right? And that's our endocrine and metabolic glandular type things, uh, electrolytes, hormonal imbalances, uh, all can result in neurological type symptoms. Hypoglycemia, hypoxia, those are common things we'll see in our vindicate with CNS disorders. And of course, as in EMS, we can actually care for that, right? We can treat hypoglycemia. We can treat hypoxia, okay? Um, so that's it for the Vindicate. Uh, and, you know, again, this is a quick and sort of acronym you can use, okay, uh, for that. And next time we're going to talk about, when it comes to CNS, we're going to talk about assessment and management of the CNS patient, okay? Um, so this is all the type of things you need to think about, guys. Um, you know, we build upon each past session on the new session, right? So next time we're going to talk about assessment and management of sort of a kind of a global uh, picture when it comes to CNS disorders. And then we'll start breaking down other things like uh, strokes and things like that, okay? So I hope you can use these Monday Minutes, guys. Um, you know, if you have some minutes of your own, I'd love to hear about them. Send them over to me. Uh, my email is info at emsofficehours.com. You can also send it to um, contact at emsofficehours.com or just reply right here below the video. Okay? Um, again, all I ask, these are free videos, guys. I don't ask for anything in, in, in uh, return for this. I just add you just tell one other person. Tell one of your EMS peers. Tell one of your friends, okay, about these videos. Share it on YouTube. Uh, share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter, wherever the case may be. Let at least one other person know that you think might benefit from these types of videos. All right, guys, that's it for me. Uh, again, questions, comments, concerns, send them over to me. It's it's contact at emsofficehours.com. As always, I am Jim Hoffman, and this is EMS Office Hours. Stay safe.